All right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is, man. If you like the video, like the video. Subscribe for more daily 2K content, and let's get right into it. What we want to talk about to you guys today is the new dribbling system that may or may not be in NBA 2K. Look, they put out this trailer, and in the trailer, you can see right here, you can see him doing what I see, what, what everybody has seen already, the walking size up. I don't want to just talk about the walking size of being in the game because we know that's in the game. What I want to talk about is what this means for NBA 2K and dribbling going forward. To the lead up. If you make it to C25, that's OG status. I was told you could be anything, just don't be average. Down bad, flat pockets, that shit made me upset. Start hustling nonstop, don't plan on breaking that habit. So right here, what you guys are seeing is what we saw, everybody saw. Everybody saw the walking size up in the game. And I know that we see the walking size up and people just said, okay, the walking size up is back in the game. The walking size up is something that uh, a lot of people may, may have liked. They may not have liked. They thought it was cool. Some people thought it was trash. I was one of the people where I played the two-way uh, playmaker back then. So I was, it, it didn't bother me uh, one way or another. But what I can tell you about the walking size up is, I think we saw that one in 2K18 and really 2K18 only. They took it out after that. And um, you would never, I, you, in 2K18, this would happen when you least expected it. Like you would really hope that you, you probably want to do an in and out move, a quick, uh, a quick, you know, jump to the right, jump to the left, hop step, something like that. And then he would just bust out the walking size up. Now you can do the move that everybody did when they got the when they got the walking size up. Just do a momentum behind the back, and you were automatically out of it. Like my boy at me, bro said, it wasn't hard to get out of unless you didn't really know what you were doing on the game and you were dribbling. But looking at this video. They put it in there for a reason and they really just got it there like NBA 2K Intel. Like they isolated him so that you can really concentrate on this. They really wanted us to know that the walking size up is back. But what I want to know is in what iteration is the walking size up back? Is it back in the iteration where they have taken the dribble system that we had this year and then they just tacked it on? Or have we reverted back to the old dribble system, or this is a completely new dribble system entirely. This this is one of those things where it's just like with 2K, you never really know. It's kind of like with Madden, where they will take things away and then they'll put things back and then they'll they'll tout it as a new feature. And that's something that I've always hated about Madden, my guy Gideon Prime, True Chasers, and all these guys, we would always talk about this. I absolutely hate when people when they when these companies do things like that like with Madden I think it was I, I can't don't don't quote me on these but I know they had it it was like in 2005 they had game tackling then they took game tackling away then they brought it back in 2007 it's a new feature it was like called ProTac or what have you and then they took it away then they brought it back in like Madden 25 and then they took it away and now it's a staple in Madden and they always called it a new feature like every time I don't know if those exactly the Maddens that they did it in but what I'm saying is they, they, they've they been doing this thing in Madden for years. The three on three took it away, brought it back. Then they took it away, brought it back. And now I think it's what, five on five or seven on seven. And it's called the yard now. And it's just like you can make your my player. And if y'all want to see some of that on this channel, y'all make sure y'all like the video up and let me know down in there. Y'all want to see some Madden gameplay, uh, some of that yard gameplay because I don't have no problem. Look at that dude get baited. I am the master baiter. Pause. Uh, get baited by the master. I'm a top 95 center in this game, Chad. Ain't no doubt about it. I know y'all hate when I break character, but it is what it is. Back to what I was saying. So, is this a feature that they brought to the game and they just tacked it on? Or are, are they trying to tell us that we're reverting back to the old dribble system? You guys all know that with the old dribble system, you had you didn't have to perform these moves yourselves. You could just walk up the court, tap up, and the guy would go through a complete dribble combination for you. You didn't even have to have to dribble. That's why I say I feel like dribbling this year takes more skill than dribbling in previous 2K years because this year you have to perform all the moves, and that's why we've gotten to the point where all people do is sprint right, quick stop, sprint left, quick stop, sprint right. It's just that when people don't know what to do, the game always devolves into left, right, around screens and that's where we are for the most part you got a few people that iso and then we have the whole conversation which one takes more it takes more skill iso or just uh or screens iso or screens iso or screens it really doesn't matter to me i could care less i we play iso ball but that's just because that's what gets us the most shots but the point is look at get baited by the master again i am the master baiter get it in pause anyway y'all understand what i'm saying 
So are they just adding this on top of this system or are we gonna have the situation last year, like like last year and in previous 2Ks, get that shot out of here, boy, I'm, I'm crazy. I'm, man, I'm a top 95 center. Are we gonna have the situation? And I got the IQ! Look at Dre sell me though. It's all it's all good, man, I, I take it from here. Uh, yeah, that, I probably shouldn't have done that. But yeah, I'm getting it back. But uh, is it gonna? are we gonna have a situation like previous years, like I said? I didn't really like that system because it made everybody seem like they could dribble, but the moves that they, that they used to break out of these moves, everybody did the same thing. Last year, it was it was go right, I mean, go right, momentum, go left, hesitate, go right, stop, do a dribble combination, cross over out of it, and then do stuff like that. That's what 2K basically was last year. It wasn't really any, any what would you call it? There's never been dribbling like this this year like for the most part this year if somebody is dribbling they've got their own style of dribbling and they've created their own style like t mizzle pretty much got his own style of dribbling uh brute got his own style of dribbling they actually use the dribble moves and they use these things and it's not just left right left right left right i feel like if they bring this back and the dribble system that was connected to it then i think this is gonna make the game devolve into something even worse like what would people do if they took the quick stop out of the game? That's 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 what I want to know. If they took quick stopping out of the game, what would people do? Would they be able to play the game still? Would they just would they find different dribble moves? Would they you know what I'm saying? Like that's those are the things that I'd like to know. Would they find different dribble moves? Would they do some other stuff? Would they I, I just I just don't know. I don't know if people are capable of finding different dribble moves. I don't know if people, because we all we all know that 2K is a copycat league. Everybody does what works. Nobody really does anything else. They just do what works. Whatever the thing is, whatever the cheesiest thing is, that worked. That's what people are going to do when playing 2K. It just is what it is. And I hate for it to be like that, but that's where we are. So, like, um, for example, when we had when we had the behind the back move at the beginning of the year, what did people say? Man, there ain't no other moves to get you open. Like, that's what we said. Even we said it, even me and T Mizzle and all them guys said it. But when they took that behind the back move out of the game, what happened? People figured out a way. And obviously, you know, now, like like where we are now, it's just like they're just, I, I really don't know what to really tell you what's going on, like with the quick stopping and running back and forth and stuff like that. But what I am gonna tell you is this. You got people like T Hill who have figured it out. Brute figured it out. A lot of other people figured it out. Now you got the people that are going back and forth behind screens, but I just feel like if you do that, if you bring back the old dribbling system, it lets less skilled players keep up with players that are more skilled. Like I, I feel like if you if you have mastered this freeform dribbling style, I really feel like you are more skilled player than um than a lot of other players. Like that's just my opinion. Do you think? Let me know down in the comments. Do you think that the, that the style of dribbling last year took more skill or this year took more skill i feel like anything that is automated automatically takes less skill than than now and it doesn't mean it's better and it doesn't mean that the person is better either but that's just my opinion right Ooh, look at that it's less like this right here like you got better text today than you had back in the day right but a lot of people just rely on google they don't actually know anything but if google is always there in the field um, like there was a there was a point in time you guys don't they probably don't remember back when when in college They didn't let you really use the internet or do any of that stuff And then there was a change uh, Midway through when I was in college and they said well You can have your computers and you can use computers for this stuff and that stuff because you'll have it in the field And so then we were able to use it to complete the our classes and courses and look things up on the fly Because they're like hey, you, you're gonna have we're, we're trying to prepare you for when you get into the field and you'll have these things in the field so why should we stop you from using it now so it's just like that so we got better text now some people are better text because they have the helpers but a person that can remember all that stuff like me like i, I would say i'm kind of like a hybrid because of that i can remember everything and i also um and i also am a master of google food where i can just look things up i got this dude in a box right here look at my boy twit Ooh, we out here playing some d but uh, I can look things up, but I also am a cornucopia of information. So I'm more like a hybrid. Somebody that can do both, obviously I'm gonna feel like that person is better because you're proficient in more things than one. But if you are only good 
last year or if you are good 57 percent slightly late that went in yeah you're not looking if you are only good during this era of 2k when it was auto dribbling and stuff like that and then you were only good at the beginning of this year when they had the uh the behind the back move and stuff like that how good were you really if they can make one change in the game and it can make you go from a good player slash decent player to a completely trash player what like how good were you really that's all i'm that's, that's what i'm really trying to say but you know i guess it's not really here to be who's better who's there we really just want to talk about i just really just want to talk to you guys about the dribble system and how do you feel about it do you think that we should go back to the auto dribbling system he tried to shoot that peak why are you tripping uh do, should we go back to the auto dribble system where you just cue you just key in a move boom tap up on the stick and he's gonna do 50 50 combinations and make it look like you can dribble or should we stay on this one where you have to know more and have to be capable of more and you have to do the moves yourself like they tried to do something like that in 2k17 well like with the kobe um with the kobe escape you had to do that yourself it didn't do it for you like it did in uh in 16. that's why a lot of people were really good at 16 because all the animations were can you can make somebody fall with jamal crawford without any effort until they patched that in like patch two or three and like the game was almost unplayable but 2k16 was really go left stop go right cross back over sprint to the corner like you're gonna shoot and then you hit a uh you hit a kobe uh not kobe you hit a curry escape step back and then you pull up for three like that's what it was like that's that's really what it was and all of that equates to left right and i just i just don't get it i hope that we don't see that type of dribble system again but i also hope they do something about left right i want if i'm getting cooked i want to be getting cooked because the dude is cooking me i don't want to be getting cooked because this guy's just queuing up animations that are activating for him automatically and because they activate for him automatically uh, you know my guy's either reacting or he really doesn't know what to do you know what i'm saying like i really don't know what to do or i can't react because he's just queuing up animations like you know possibly like this i i want if he's killing me, I want him to be killing me. Look at the moves that T's doing right now. He's doing, he's putting all of those moves in. It may not be the greatest moves. I know somebody gonna say, hey, I can dribble better than that. Come out here and try to stand in front of T then. That's what I want you to do. If you think you can do it, come out here and stand in front of him. And then, you know, I say you the greatest or whatever. But look, look at what this dude's trying to do. Like he, he's got some dribble moves, but it's really just left right and around the screen and he's cold and he's in a box, bro. That's, that's, that's over with for you, bro. I'm not even gonna lie to you. But, I just want to know what, which one do you guys think takes more skill? Does dribbling by yourself take more skill, or did you prefer, or does dribbling with the queue up the move system take more skill? Look at that right there! Look at that quick peek! Why look at that quick peek that TJ shot, man! Look at that, man! Like you telling me that somebody queuing up moves is more is look at look at this? You telling me that queuing up moves and just just popping out of oh you telling me it take more skill than that? Boy, you got to be tripping, Brody. You got to be. Like I said, that's just my opinion on it. I hope this is not a completely new dribble system. I hope this is something that they're just adding to the game. I don't want to go back to the old auto dribble system. I hate auto dribble. I think that it makes for a lesser skill gap. And it just, like if somebody's cooking you right now, you know that person is really cooking you. Unless they're just left, right, and behind screens and stuff like that. We know that person ain't cooking you. They're playing two on one offense on you. You should be playing two on two defense. You shouldn't be letting somebody just sit there and cook you, you know, uh, around screens and nobody's gonna help you. But anyway, like I said, man, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think down in the comment section. Um, I, that's my opinion on it. I don't wanna go back to that old dribble system. I want us to go forward. Nothing like uh, Brutus M always say, backward never, forward ever. We don't want to have that anymore. Some people probably do, but you probably a bum and you want to rely on those things. I don't want to rely on those things. I want to rely on myself and my teammates. The fewer animations that we have that are automatic, the better the game will be. That's how I feel. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section, and I'm going to holler at y'all next time. Till next time. It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Guys, peace. It don't make cash and it don't make sense. Cause we can't pay rent with no one's opinion. So in that sense, I never value your two cents. Hey, darn. Please leave that bullshit you speak at the barn, because I ain't fine. I'm only 5'8", that's fine, nigga. I could give a heart transplant to a giant. I ain't lying, Godspeed. Godspeed, Godspeed. 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 We good.